Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna dyno this Callaway Denali. It's got the 560 package from Callaway, uh, so it should be 560 horsepower, and it's got a 10 speed in it. It is like the truck that I want. Let me show you the supercharger and all that fun stuff. This Callaway is equipped with the special super duper Callaway supercharger. You can see supercharged 560 horsepower. At least that's, that's what they're claiming. It has stock manifolds. Basically, they're fancy Callaway intake. Yeah, check that bad boy out. Uh, I don't know what else. I think that I think that and an exhaust are probably it. Maybe it's fuel system upgrades, but I think that that's where it's at. And this is all sitting on the uh, 6.2 liter V8, which cranks out pretty good numbers factory. The 6.2 liter makes like, I, I think it's like 400 horsepower to the wheels from the factory. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a baseline, see how she's doing, and then uh, go for the retuning. Maybe, if it needs a retune. This is actually here for a tune checkup. Uh, so. Like that's one of the things that we offer here at the shop is uh, basically you pay 200 bucks or whatever it is at the time because videos last forever, but our prices do not. Uh, you pay that amount of money for a basically three pulls on the dyno. We read the tune, we go over it with you, and that way we can give you the uh, uh, before and after of, uh, or not before, but what we can improve. We let you know what we can improve and see if it makes sense to tune it or not if it's a clean bill of health we let you know hey it's a clean bill of health you're good to go and that's definitely worth 200 dollars. and if it's not it's even worth more than that because say that there's something wrong with it and we find it beforehand that's uh that's worth whatever your engine or transmission or whatever costs you know before it gets critical and we've seen that before in fact, we literally saw it on the C5 Z06 that I bought with the broken spring. Kind of wild, right? Well, let's get to it. Let's see what this bad boy, this bad boy here, puts down. I'm excited. I'm thinking if it's actually the 560, I'm thinking it should put down something in the neighborhood of 450 to 500 rear wheel horsepower through the 10 speed. This is a very nice truck. What you can see is it's got its own Callaway thingamajigger here. California? I don't know. Is this, is this legal? Okay, so the plot kind of thickens because instead of manual mode, we have low, which is, it limits you to a certain gear. And uh, in the scanner here, Whoa, did I zoom in? I must have zoomed in. In the scanner here, the transmission's not unlocked, so I have no control over it. I'm gonna try to open the, the beta and see if I have control over it. Good news, in the beta, I do. I can only go up to six gear, which is probably faster than the cars you know, should be going anyway. And uh, that's excellent because otherwise we would just be shifting through the gears. Right away I see like timing's a little low. Fuel trims are fairly close, about 5% on the leaner side. Uh, but mostly it's looking pretty good. Hopefully the Callaway tune is uh, actually a good tune. Okay, we are set up and ready to go. Let's find out what she does. And the results are, whoa, 379 horsepower, 454 foot-pounds of torque, I mean the torque's kind of there, it's all—it's definitely running on the lean side of things, uh, really lean up top, I mean it's direct injection, I'm going to have to see what they're commanding, let's put this by uh, RPM, 
but uh yeah it's uh I gotta say I'm really not thrilled with this I'm gonna go over it uh, I'm gonna pull the tune right now and see what she looks like as well as go over the actual log but uh, that's really disappointing okay so what I'm noticing is that boost wise we're running somewhere between five and a half and six and a half pounds of boost this thing is definitely going lean it's not commanding to go anywhere close to lean um, it's commanding uh, a point seven eight and it's like a one and yeah that's not that's not good it's also adding fuel so fuel pressure looks fine fuel pressure looks pretty good if you, low side fuel pressure is down here unfortunately I uh, logged the wrong thing so I couldn't see the high side I'm gonna have to do another pull but uh, from a base pull I'd say that something's definitely up and uh, I'm gonna assume that it's just a one tune fits all thing that didn't actually fit this truck I did perform another tune and uh, I'm not sure what anybody's thinking, but the f the high side fuel pressure is commanded at like nothing here. Like this is at 5,400 RPMs. This is full throttle, and for some reason, it's commanding uh, jack shit. Terrible. Here's where the plot thickens. It's not commanding any of that. Like it is. Unless unless they have this thing so skewed that the air mass value, let's see, what does it say? Air mass. Air mass is uh, it's on the lower side for what it should be doing, but it's 0.9. That uh, that should correlate all the way down here. This should be doing. This should be doing. Uh, this should be commanding this. So for some reason, it's not commanding that. It's commanding jack shit. Something's not right with this. This is a weird situation. Uh, this was one of those like tune checkups, and this is weird because it's definitely not running right. Like it's not even close to running right. Something's off. It's at least 30% off on the fueling. The high pressure side's not doing what it's commanded. Uh, mechanically, something might or might not be up. It's really, really tough to say because I don't know. We pulled the tune. We have not modified the tune in any way. Modifying the tune might do it, it might not. I'm not sure. And uh, I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna get in touch with the customer, let him know what we're finding, and see what he wants to do. If he wants us to put our hands on it and maybe void his Callaway tune, or if he wants to take it back to Callaway and have them uh, fix these issues. Cause I mean, it's a Callaway car. Okay, so we are actually using a GM tool in order to flash this guy back to stock in order to uh, have a reference point. Since the car's so new, uh, we didn't really have a reference point to see all the Callaway stuff that's been changed in the tune. Only what Callaway has for their entire tune, which is the issue because I don't know if they changed something goofy that is causing it to command something different. So we're going back to stock to find out what exactly is done and uh, resolve that. So power enrichment here is somewhere around a 12, five-ish air fuel ratio if you're talking about uh, complete gas. And uh, with the Callaway calibration, it's uh, a bit richer than that, basically an 11.6-ish or so. and. Uh, I I don't really see any great reason except that the math calibration is way the hell off. The uh, the timing seems to be 15ish degrees, which is that 15 degrees should be about what the factory does but then it's got some other adders that kind of you know goof that up I think that this thing's just really in need of a real tune not this like bullshit that they put on so from factory this is the factory high pressure side this is the thing that is causing me the most uh, 
aggravation here because it's like locked in on four or five or so. Locked in on four for some reason. Even commanding a 4.2. That's this number here. So it's that's the weird thing that I'm running into where that's not the calibration. It's only up here where the cylinder air mass is really, really low. And the calibration there was even higher, so truthfully, it should have ran just fine. So now, after making some light adjustments to the factory tune, we are going to run it again. Um, I did take into account some of the math calibration issues that I was seeing, and uh, hopefully this will have things sorted out. made a pretty dramatic improvement not so much on the torque but you can see that the the power band is really doing better the air fuel is much better than the obscenely high uh, air fuel that we were at previously we're kind of aiming for a 12.2 we're just under that we're gonna bring it up from about a 12 flat a little bit thicker down here we're gonna bring that back up to a 12.2 and uh, see how she does. So we might be coming in close to about a hundred horsepower over where he came in at. That's pretty good. We're getting there. So the owner of this beautiful car, which I am now thinking of Denali instead of Escalade, uh, said that he was having some weird shift issues. Now a lot of that has to come from the engine tune, because the engine basically tells the transmission how much torque is going on, what kind of demand, all that fun stuff. Um, like it's not all, it's usually shift issues are not from the transmission tune, it's from the engine tune not telling the transmission accurately what's coming at it. Um, so one of the things that we're doing besides calibrating the car properly to itself is we are also doing a trans learn. Now this is actually a transmission learn that tells the transmission like it, it calibrates the transmission to it, itself so it knows how to shift. It's called a trans fast learn and uh, we're doing it right now. It does some silly shit and it feels really weird on the dyno. As it's learning it's flashing the check or the drive light not a check engine light that it's flashing it a drive light and basically i am charged with watching the trans fast learn status this guy right here as it's calibrating drive kind of wild right and what it's doing now is it's purging out all 10 gears and then finding the exact engagement of it so it knows the transmission because the transmission wears over time so this is one of those cool little services that you can do to help your transmission shift properly and uh, crisply if that's a word crisply crispy crisply doesn't sound right So we just ended up finishing up on the street tune on this beautiful Denali. Now making the correct power thanks to Complete Street. Looks like all it needed was a tune. You know, sometimes when you're in my line of business, you are you're the hero. And today we were. Today we were the hero. Today we took a car that was not running right, uh, at no fault of our own or the customers, and uh, made it into something special. And that's not something that happens every day, it happens a lot here, uh, but uh, sometimes you're in the middle. Sometimes you are not the one that is the hero. Sometimes the next guy is, 
And that's just uh, what it's like in the performance industry because there's no rule book. There's no like guide to doing this thing correctly. Uh, there are things that we've learned along the way to help increase our ability to do things properly and uh, efficiently. And But sometimes on the new cars like this 2019, there's curveballs. There's things that you need to address and likely that's what Callaway got bit at because uh, Callaway seems to have things running properly most of the time. And I did see some things in the tune that kind of suggested that, well, maybe they're basing it off of a 2018 or 17 or something like that. And it just did not coordinate with the 2019 properly. And uh, by cleaning things up, going back to the factory tune and building it from scratch, I think that we made a really good improvement. Obviously we did because with no changes mechanically to the car we picked up about 100 rear wheel horsepower and like 50 foot pounds of torque so that's pretty damn good uh, and then on the street the concerns that the customer had was uh, I saw that on the street and was able to uh, resolve them pretty quickly uh, I don't know if there's any other ones because uh, uh, the customer has to drive it and he'll give me his feedback and if we need to touch things up we will but if we need to do a trans tune we also will do that then by sending out the computer because they are locked from the factory and they have to be sent out for what they call an unlock service. Yay! This is one of those other great reasons why bringing your car to Complete Street Performance uh, or maybe your local uh, performance shop that specializes in your car, not some, you know, jack of all trades. I find that that's usually the wrong thing to do, but uh, taking it to somebody that specializes in it to evaluate your car. Like this was here just for evaluation and uh, uh, honestly we found some things that needed to be done. We have the ability to do it. We have the ability to flash to a GM factory stock tune which is uh, something that not every shop has. I mean we have the equipment because we find that we need it once in a while. Most of the time you don't but here we are at a 2019 with nothing in a repository and uh, yeah, we are able to do some pretty good things uh, here, and we were able to take care of the customer. Um, I was hoping that we'd just be giving them a clean bill of health for, right away, but unfortunately, that's not how it came down. Uh, again, this is no fault to Callaway. I think that Callaway uh, put some good products in the car, I uh, um, and they have a warranty, which is something that you know the rest of us don't really have or offer. Um, so... <laughs> You know, there's definitely a benefit to having a Callaway uh, car, but I mean, for me, I think I can blow the car up, fix it, and uh, still be under budget from the Callaway. Woo! So, we're going to head on out now. It's raining, it's Friday, and I am happy for the week to be over. I hope you guys have a great uh, weekend. You know what? I'm probably airing this randomly. Don't know when. I know that uh, we have like three other videos or four other videos before this one even airs. So I have no idea when I'm going to air this, but I hope you guys enjoy your night, weekend, month, year, whatever. Have a great one, guys. Adios.